Hey everybody, Jim here with your daily dose of Japanese gaming goodness. It is the import game of the day, and today's game is... Akumajo Dracula X Chi no Rondo for the PC Engine CD. This is a 1993 release that was developed and published by Konami, and it was later re-released on the PSP, and through that and emulation, it's pretty easy to give this game a try, but at the time, the only way to play this one was on the PC Engine, or eventually, you could play the inferior port to the SNES. This is more of a collector's item now, but it's still an amazing game and well worth playing for fans of the series. It's essentially just like playing one of the classic 8-bit Castlevania games, but with some improvements made to the gameplay and some very much improved graphics and sound. It's missing the 8-directional whipping from Super Castlevania 4, which I think it could have benefited from having, but the game is designed as such that it doesn't really suffer for it. Also, this is the first game where sub-weapons drop on the ground whenever you pick up a new one, giving you the opportunity to pick it back up if you want to hang on to it, which is awesome. I always hated having a fully powered-up weapon on one of the other Castlevania games, only to lose it when I accidentally picked up a weapon I didn't want. Also, there are no sub-weapon multipliers this time around, but you do get to use the awesome item crash abilities, which are especially useful against bosses. Overall, the gameplay is solid with responsive controls, very good platforming, and some epic boss battles. Throw in multiple branching paths, various maidens to find and rescue, a very fun additional playable character in Maria Renard, and what you get is one of the best playing Castlevania games ever, complete with really beautiful graphics, kind of cheesy, but ultimately entertaining cutscenes, and one of the best soundtracks in the entire series. This game is seriously all positives, whether it be on the PC Engine, PSP, or by some other means, you owe it to yourself to play through this one at least once. It's Dracula X Rondo of Blood, and it's an absolute classic.